Day Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. I'm Joan Brenner. Oh, well. <laughs> I found your mailbox key. Oh, thank you so much. Won't you come in? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice of you to bring it to me. You know, I've lost two of these things already. I've lost three. Really? Yes. Oh, we're going to get along fine. <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you. You know, you look very familiar. Have I met you someplace before? Could be. I've got a lot of mileage on me. <laughs> well, you certainly look familiar. Maybe you've seen me in the movies. I work in pictures. Really? You're a movie star? <laughs> oh, I just play bit parts. In fact, if you watched the Late Late movie last night, I was in it. You were? I saw it. I don't remember seeing... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do like this. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Now hold it. Yeah! Yeah, now I recognize you. You do? Yeah. You see, there's something the matter with my picture tube, and everybody comes out lopsided. <laughs> oh, you were just great in that movie. Oh, wait till I write my friends back east to tell them that I know someone who works in pictures. I'd hate to tell you how long ago I made that picture. Oh, you couldn't have been around so very long. I saw Phil Harris take his first drink. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Oh, that'd be lovely. Okay. Cream and sugar? No, just black. Thank All you. righty. Now, tell me about you. Oh, well, I've been out here about three weeks. I am a widow from Danfield. I have a daughter in college up north. And I have a son in military school. Is that all? <laughs> yes, that's my life story, dull as it is. It's not exactly the life they lead in Peyton Place, but it's mine. <laughs> well, now that you're out here, your life should be more exciting, and little Joni's gonna do something about that. Have you heard about the Screen Arts Charity Ball? Oh, yeah, I read about that in Hedda Hopper's column this morning. She said that Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra and Debbie Reynolds and Cary Grant and, oh, just about every big star in Hollywood was gonna be there tonight. Yeah, but not this star. I've got a 6 a.m. call in the morning. I'd like you to take these two tickets and have a good time. Oh, thank you. Oh, but I couldn't accept. Why not? Well, uh, a lady can't go to a glamorous affair like this unescorted. All that red hair, no men friend? <laughs> well, I, I just haven't had much time to meet people out here. Although, I did meet a very nice man by the mailbox this morning, a Mr. Collins. Is he a bachelor? Uh, yes, I'm sure he's not married. How do you know that? Well, because when he had hold of my leg, he didn't keep looking around to see if anybody was looking. <laughs> he had hold of your leg? Well, yeah, you Honey, see... Honey, this Danfield you come from, how close is it to Peyton Place? <laughs> You better let me explain. Now, you see, the mailman put my letter up under the flower box, and I got up in this iron griddled thing that they have down there, and my heel got wedged in there, and then Mr. Collins came along, and, well, he... Well, it's just one of those stories. You had to be there. I dig the scene. Say, why don't you ask him to go to the party with you? Oh, I don't know him well enough to ask him to take me out any place. Then you'll just have to run into him again and get to know him better. How? It just so happens that today is bachelor day in the laundry room. And at five o'clock, they gather like a herd of buffalo around a watering hole. <laughs> really? Yes. So? 
So when Mr. Collins arrives, who does he run into with her laundry but the vivacious redhead from apartment 2B? Well, I already did my laundry. Well, we could dirty some. <laughs> ah! Gee, I feel kind of funny about this, Joan. I feel like a bee girl in the laundry. <laughs> Remember, I have everything in this bag to help you. There's nothing like a woman's touch. So on his missing button. Suppose he doesn't have a button missing. I'm ready for that, too. Oh, talk about being prepared. You must have had boy scout training. I've been scouting boys for years. <laughs> you know, one thing bothers me. He knows my name is Mrs. Carmichael. He might think I'm still married. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell him you are a widow. I'll just slip it into the conversation. Oh, all right. You'll do it very casually. Of course. Okay. Hiya, Brad. Hello, fellow members of the Rabbit Tub and Scrub Club. Oh, play the deuce, Bill. Play the deuce. Hi, I'm Joan Brenner, and you must be the Mr. Collins that just moved in here. Yes, I am. How do you do? How do you do? I've got a girlfriend who just moved in here, too. Oh? Mr. Collins, meet the widow Carmichael. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Carmichael and I have met. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Oh, yes. We, we met by the mailbox. <laughs> and now we're meeting at the watering hole. I mean, in the laundry. Cut it out, Bill. Quit peeking through the discard. You're cheating. I hope there's not going to be a fight. Oh, they never fight. They always argue that way. Must be pretty high stakes. What do they play for? <clears throat> to see who does the ironing. <laughs> Mr. Collins, I, I was just looking here. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Does it match? Well, that button is off my shirt. Sure, it matches. Oh, on. well, don't you worry about a thing. I just happen to have a needle and thread here. I'd be glad to sew it on for you. Well, thanks a lot, but I, I really don't have much time. Oh, well, you just go right ahead with your laundry, and after I sew the button on your shirt, I'll, I'll put it in with my laundry. Well, I, I don't want to impose. Oh, that's all right. I, I don't mind your laundry and my laundry going around together. <laughs> well, I, I'd be very obliged. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> smaller every year. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, yes? I, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, that's all right. Just consider it a, a birthday present. <laughs> and a very useful one. Yes. Oh, it's your birthday! <laughs> yes. My, it must be lonely being away from home on your birthday. <laughs> Well, I was never very sentimental about birthdays. I am. You're like my mother. I am. <laughs> no, no, I mean about birthdays. Oh. Every birthday, she baked my favorite cake. A three-layer banana cream. A three-layer banana cream? Just mm. thinking about it, my game weight. <laughs> uh, Mr. Collins? Uh, are you going out someplace tonight and celebrate? Oh, no. No, I, I don't like to go out on nights before I have an early morning flight. Oh, are you a pilot? Yeah. Oh, he's a pilot. Yeah, I've got to get out to the airport and check on my flight plan for tomorrow. That's why I'm in a hurry to get this laundry done. Oh, well, Mr. Collins, you just go right ahead. I'll be very happy to take care of your laundry for you. Really? Sure. Oh, well, thanks so much. Look, just, just 
Stack it up someplace. Uh -huh. I'll be back in a couple of hours and, and, and use the dryers when they're not busy. Oh, that's fine. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of it for you. I'll stack it all up on the sink. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Lucy, what? Why didn't you ask him to the ball tonight? Well, I didn't have time. Besides, I don't feel that I know him well enough to ask him for a date. I know how you can get to know him better. How? You remember that bit about the mother and the birthday cake? Yeah. Well, while he's gone, you bake a birthday cake. And when he comes back, you give him a surprise party. A surprise party? Yes, we'll ask the gang and have it right here. In the laundry room? Oh, sure. Oh, with a little decorating, I can make this look like a laundry a go go. <laughs> hey, that might work. Did he say a three layer banana cream? Yes. I gotta get to the market. I got a lot to do. Okay, let's go. That's a wonderful idea. At Elgin Volkswagen, you spend less and get more. Take your pick from a huge selection of all the hard-to-find models. Visit us today on Randall Road and I-90, where you spend less and get more. That's Elgin Volkswagen. You're watching Fox Valley TV. You can be on Fox Valley TV by contacting programming at foxvalleytv.com. You can also go to foxvalleyentertainment.com to learn more. Shopping done. Give me half the list. Okay, okay, okay. are just as bad indoors. Oh, are these the big potato chips? Not anymore. <laughs> Here, I don't, I don't like the little ones. <laughs> Two pounds of bananas. Here they are. Could you tell me where there are some little birthday candles? Yes, you'll find them next to the frozen food. Oh, thank you very much. Certainly have a nice party. <laughs> you again. Well, I'm awfully sorry. I'm looking for the frozen foods. Could you tell me where to go? <laughs> Lady, nothing would freeze where I tell you to go. I said I was sorry. <laughs> Cream of the butter. All right, where do we go now? Let's go over there. Okay. Just our luck, only one check stand open. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. 
Oh, I'll have to go back and get this check okay. Excuse me. Come on, Daddy. Oh, 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 oh,
Gee. I'm so sorry I spoiled your laundry. Well, I'm awfully sorry I spoiled your surprise. Here's another surprise for you. Oh, happy birthday. The Screen Arts Charity Ball? Tonight? Yeah, it doesn't start till 9 o'clock. Hey, and two tickets. Why, this is wonderful. <laughs> yes, I, I thought maybe you'd like to take someone. <laughs> and all, all my favorite stars are going to be there. Dean Martin, really? Frank Sinatra, Debbie Reynolds, Cary Grant. Oh, just Brad! everybody. They're going to have a big Brad! orchestra. Brad! Mom! <laughs> Happy birthday, oh, darling. I baked your cake. A cake? Yeah, how about that? Oh, oh, gang. Dang it. I, I want you to meet my mother. Oh, I am so glad that you're not alone on your birthday. Oh, we wouldn't let that happen to him. Oh, now you go on. You all of you just have a wonderful time. Go on. I, I think I'll go upstairs and rest. Rest nothing. Mom, I got news for you. You are going to swing tonight. Mrs. Carmichael here, give me two tickets to a charity ball. <laughs> oh, the Hollywood stars are going to be there, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Why, you see Cary Grant and Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra. Frankie! And oh, I love Frankie Boy. <laughs> well, Mom, you're going to see your Frankie Boy tonight, isn't she? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mom, we're going to get over our glad rags. Let's go. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Look, gee, I, it doesn't seem right running out of my own party like this. Oh, oh that's all right. We're cutting out anyway. Oh, really? Are you? Come on, gang. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gee, I, I forgot something. Who? <laughs> I, I don't have a clean dress shirt to wear tonight. Oh. Oh, well, you, you just run along and get dressed, and, and I'll, I'll walk and iron your shirt for you. What a love. What a lovely girl. Yeah. And she's got pretty legs, too. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Here, I'll take the cake. You sure do. <laughs> Gee, Lucy, I'm sorry. Well, maybe someday my son will pass up a girl with pretty legs and take me out. <laughs>